Well, welcome to a, uh, another edition of Johnny G on college football. Been a little delinquent this year, but I felt like uh, after the preseason uh, video, I need to do a somewhat mid-year update. Um, we are seven to eight games into the season. And as I mentioned in the preseason, a lot of anticipation, a lot of optimism. College football is great for the country. And uh, boy, some fan bases right now are just not so happy. And um, you know, my Tigers so far have uh, eked out a few close ones, but we're seven and zero, uh, and getting ready for a big division game this weekend against Florida State in Tallahassee. And I don't care what Florida State's record is; they're always tough at home. So uh, we're hoping for a good win down there in Tallahassee. I ran to a friend of mine um, yesterday, and he was one of the good Gamecock friends I mentioned in my earlier video and he said I'm looking for an update so I figured I'd have to do an update so this Gamecock friend I ran into was the reasonable one who had South Carolina finishing nine and three nine and four somewhere in there and he still uh, he still has hope for his record now the other uh, Gamecock friend who I think was hallucinating at the time he made his picks who I, if I if y'all remember correctly is a very prominent upstate South Carolina attorney and who I won't be able to mention his name yet, though I am gonna invite him on the show for rebuttal at some point. So open invitation out there for my friend. But um, he went, you know, he had South Carolina going 12 and 0, winning the SEC championship, winning the playoff game and winning the national championship. I would say that that is not doable at this point with South Carolina's record, but there's still optimism. Uh, they played well uh, last week. So we hope that um, our Gamecock friends can close the season strong, uh, except for the Thanksgiving weekend game in the Valley. So, college football, what's happened this year? Bitter, bitter disappointment this past weekend when Purdue walloped the Ohio State Buckeyes. So my friends out there who may see this video and you know who you are, they were Buckeyes fans. Um, wow, Purdue had your number and they had it big. Uh, big, big win for Purdue. Uh, you got other teams in the country that just haven't quite um, met up to what their preseason expectation. Got a lot of Auburn friends. Um, I've got family that's Auburn. I've got friends that have their kids going to Auburn. I've got uh, a good friend of mine, golf buddy, former work associate, who is an Auburn fan, a church member who's an Auburn fan. And, you know, right now they're trying to figure out how to take up the offering plate and get rid of Gus Malzahn because I think they've had it with him. But that's a big offering plate to the tune of about $32 million. Um, so Auburn's unhappy, Ohio State's unhappy this week. Uh, a lot of unhappy people. There's a very few undefeated teams left in the country. I'm hoping my Tigers stay in that, uh, in that realm. But anyway, college football, mid-season, not as much optimism as the beginning of the season, but some people will always remain optimistic, and I'm one of them. As Dabo says, I'm all in. I'm all in for the Tigers no matter what. First year I went to see the Tigers play, they were two and nine. Uh, then three, six, and two. This is back in the 70s. So, you know, seven wins and being seven and oh is always a good thing. Um, next, I would say that my wisdom for the day is really tied into this college football thing. Don't put all your faith and your hope and your optimism in college football because you will be greatly disappointed. At some point or another, your team's going to disappoint you. So uh, just don't put all your eggs in one basket. Enjoy it as a sport. Enjoy the camaraderie. Enjoy the fans. Enjoy the tailgating. Enjoy all that. Don't put your faith in college football. Um, secondly, the word of the day is two words, all in. Um, and I think that applies to a lot of things. I was talking to some work associates today, and we were talking about you know, how to make changes in their company, and they're debating what to do and where to go. And I just said, listen, whatever road you pick, you got to be all in. You can't be bouncing back and forth. So for the college students that watch this, be all in with your major, be all in with your friends, be all in with your ministry. Um, for my adult friends who happen to see this, uh, be all in with the things that matter most, uh, your family first, uh, your work, do the best you can. Um, and, you know, a little bit of faith uh, here as well. Uh, be all in with your relationship with Christ. Um, I'm a little bit of a testimony there that the deeper I get and the more I'm all in with Christ, the better my life has become. So anyway, uh, great day, great day to talk about college football. As you can see out here in the backyard, uh, green grass, blue sky, nice little chill in the air, and uh, it really does feel like football finally. So go Tigers, have a great day, 
Johnny G's out. See you next time.